Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I think this example is probably more in line with uh, what I was getting at yesterday with uh, modeling the natural world. Um, this is uh, the solar system uh, with all of the orbits uh, and inclinations uh, for those or orbits, including the moons. And I can adjust the bloom strength to kind of get, you know, a different effect there. And then, uh, you know, there's the Milky Way galaxy there. You can see we're out in, on one of the spiral arms. And then I had a kind of a, a specific thing that I wanted to do with this, which was you know, essentially be able to make uh, keyframes and then move the camera around uh, for those keyframes. Uh, let me see. I actually can't remember if it will uh, work there. I think if I do this. The music in the background is a is a rejiggered version of Purple Motion's um, uh, "Touch of Spring." Uh, I uh, uh, separated the tracks out and did a little bit of EQ on it, and then you know I can go back and forth to the different ones. Uh, that crosses the center of rotation. I don't know those familiar with the demo scene, like you know, like I would I would like make something like this like as a demo, like this, like this, and then like this, and then I'll do one more, and then I'll do like sort of more of a like this. Maybe I'll have this one be like a little bit up here. Is there a planet on the outer rungs that I can, so I can sort of pan across here like that? Yeah, I like that, really slow. All right, cool. Here's a different version of the project. Um, I'll just start with this. I mean, it starts at eight bits and then goes down and it, uh, it essentially quantizes it in a single direction. You can see if I add noise on that axis, it'll create these, uh, these bands essentially. So if you do it on a spherical axis, you can do cool stuff too, because then you start getting these, these spheres. You can get like a bloom strength up or something like that. And then you've got like, uh, you can quantize it in multiple dimensions too. So, um, so you've got, now you've got like this going on. It was definitely kind of like one of those like super obsessive like you know for no for no real reason kind of things uh yeah so this german author uh, named daniel botts wrote this book and uh, i translated it into english on uh Diepel. i bought it first in in interviews he talks about the specific materiality of demo scene right how it uses the constraints of the machine in order to structure one's activity and i really like that probably in a future video i'll uh, talk about some of this you know assembly language 300 byte game stuff for the really deep nerds uh, but for purposes of this i think i'll, I'll just stop <laughs>